Hello everyone, FedEx Game here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a 3x3 or 3x3 hidden nether portal. So all we have to do is just click this button right here and our nether portal will open up and we can go ahead and go inside our nether portal if we want to because thanks to title update 31, we can now make much bigger nether portals. You can make this thing a lot bigger than a 3x3, but this tutorial only focuses on a 3x3. And then when we're ready to close up our nether portal, when we come back home, just click the button again and our nether portal closes. Now, also thanks to title update 31 we get to use the slime blocks inside this build it is not that difficult as you can see it just has an abundance of repeaters but nothing is too big on this build so let's go ahead and start building it all right guys so for this build you're going to need a five by six spacing and you're also going to have to dig down too all right guys so the resources you're going to need for this build are six sticky pistons two regular pistons two dispensers 10 redstone repeaters two redstone torches one block of redstone 12 redstone dust one button six slime blocks we are also going to need at least 12 obsidian four furnaces or any sort of a movable object i like to use furnaces because it's the easiest thing to get your hands on we're also going to need five stone slabs one water bucket one flint and steel and one piece of sand now, I also forgot to mention this does work on the PC. All right, guys, so once you have gotten your five by six spacing and you've dug down your two and you've also gathered all of your resources, come to the bottom left-hand corner. Now, right here is going to be your wall. This is going to be the wall on your house where you are building this thing. So come to the bottom left and we're gonna count up one block, one, and then count over one block, one. And then we're going to place a block right here with a piece of obsidian on it. Now we're going to start from here by building our nether portal. So we're going to come over two more, one, two. So we're going to have three obsidian on the floor. And then we're going to have three obsidian going up. So one, two, three. And then we're going to have three obsidian above the top. One, two, three. And then three obsidian along the side. One, two, and three. And there is our nether portal. Next up, what I want you to do is place three sticky pistons down here. One, two, three. With three blocks of choice on top of them. These blocks you will be able to see. They're going to be the color of your walling so i'm going to be using quartz and then what i want you to do is swing over here and we're just going to go around our whole entire front of our nether portal with our blocks of choice so go around the whole entire thing with your blocks of choice so it should look something like this right now and then we're going to come right over here to this corner and we're going to place a button off of this block this is where we're going to be turning on and off our nether portal i'll show you where you can move your button in case you want to hide it later on then right underneath our block with our button on it, I want you to just dig out these blocks. And next to that sticky piston down there, we're going to place a slab upside down. Make sure you place a slab upside down so it does not affect that sticky piston right there. And then we're going to place another block right next to it. And then place a piece of redstone dust on top of this block. And then a repeater coming out of that redstone dust on one tick delay. Next up, we're going to place a block in front of our repeater. So come up one block and then break the block underneath it and place a piece of redstone underneath it and a piece of redstone on top of it as well. Then coming out of the bottom redstone, we're going to place a repeater going this way on four ticks delay. Place a block right next to this four tick delay repeater right next to that sticky piston. Put a piece of redstone right here in between both these two blocks. And then a block in front of that four tick delay repeater. So when I click this button, our sticky piston should extend up. And then they should retract back down. Next up, what I want you to do is come down another block next to this redstone. And put a repeater coming out of the block with the redstone right here on three ticks delay. Then we're going to place a piston facing upwards with a piece of sand on top of it. This will create a mono stable circuit. Next up, place a block right here next to your piston. And then coming out of this sand block, we're going to place a repeater going this way on one tick delay. Place a block in front of your one tick delay repeater with a piece of redstone on top of it. And then place a block right next to this piece of redstone. Make sure you place that block in there. This block will be needed. Next, place a sticky piston facing away from this block with the redstone on top of it going towards the right. And then we're going to place a redstone block in front of that sticky piston. Next up, we're going to swing right down here and place a piece of redstone underneath this redstone block. And then place another piece of redstone right off to the right hand side of it. Then coming out of that redstone, we're going to place a repeater going towards this block on four ticks delay by looking down at this block and placing your repeater. Set it to four ticks. And then put another repeater going into this block on four ticks delay as well. And that should extend up your pistons right here. Once you have gotten your repeaters in, come back to this block right here that our four ticks are going into. And place another repeater coming out of it going this way on two ticks delay. Make sure you place that on two ticks. And then we're going to put a block in front of it. And put a torch on top of it. Take out your redstone torches and place a redstone torch right on top of the block. It should go off. And then place a block right above your redstone torch. Then right next to your redstone torch, we're going to place another block with another torch on top of it. 
come down a block right here and place in another piece of redstone dust so, so once your sticky piston extends out it will activate this redstone dust right here thus turning off this torch next take out your immovable objects i'm using a furnace you can also use obsidian or dispenser whatever you really want to just make sure it's immovable a piston cannot be able to push it and we're going to place our immovable object right on top of this redstone torch and then we're going to put a block right next to the redstone torch and then coming out of your immovable object we're going to place a repeater going this way on two ticks delay and then place a block in front of your two tick delay repeater next up what i want you to do is just swing back to the front really quickly and click your button we want these pistons down right here and we want this repeater in the back off as well so where this repeater has just went off we're going to take out our sticky pistons and place in two sticky pistons starting off of this block so one two facing the front of your portal then in front of your sticky piston place in six slime blocks so one two three and then three above those as well so now it should look something like this Next up, take out your blocks of choice and place in your blocks of choice in front of all of your slime blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Next up, take out your dispensers and place your dispenser in this corner right here. And another one in this corner by placing it off the side of your redstone dust like that. And then right in the middle, we're going to be placing in a furnace. So swing to the backhand side, go into sneak mode and place a furnace right here in the middle. Now, all that's left to do is one more thing and we will be completely done. So I'm just going to dig out this area really quickly just so we can see everything that is going on. So right here next to this block that has the one tick delay repeater, place in a slab upside down. Then next to this sand block, place another slab upside down as well. Then we're going to place a block on top of this slab, place another slab off the side of it upside down and go ahead and break this block. And then we're going to place a block on top of this slab place another slab going this way upside down and then break the block above this slab next up take out your redstone and place redstone on top of all of your slabs and then right next to these two slime blocks we're going to take out our removable objects once again and place in two furnaces next to those slime blocks next up go into sneak mode and place in a block right here off the side of your furnace and then on top of both of your furnaces we're going to take out our repeaters and place two repeaters on top of your furnace going into this sticky piston right here set the first one to four ticks and the second one to two ticks and then place redstone right behind it now that should be your whole entire door everything should be working we are not going to place anything in the dispensers just yet but if i click this button our door should close and when i click it again our door should open up so now all that's left to do is just put our items inside our dispensers and we will be completely done so go inside the right dispenser right here and place in your water bucket and then in the left dispenser right here we're going to place in our flint and steel so when I click this button, our water should come out of this dispenser right here and the door should close. So click the button, the water comes out and the door closes. And then when we click the button again, the door opens up, the water goes away and our portal ignites. Now I'm going to show you really fast how you can move your button in case you do not want your button right off the side of your portal. All you have to do is just come right over here and place a repeater going into this block with redstone like this. And then just bring your current wherever you want. You can bring it anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter. So let's say I want to put my block all the way down here with my button on it. Click the button. As you can see, our nether portal will close. And if I click the button again, our nether portal will open up and ignite. And there you guys have it. That is how you build a three by three hidden nether portal door. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like. And subscribe to my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.